this is Christian from AndroidUnite.com here today to possibly give you a solution for an annoying problem that we all face. By uh, we all, I mean anybody who is on ICS and above. Um, you guys obviously know about the play market and if you were to go ahead and click in and go into my apps you'd be presented with a list that uh, would show you, you know, what needs to be updated, um, what's installed currently. You can keep going all the way down, see what's installed, or you can scroll over and see all of the apps that you have possibly ever downloaded in your life, although it's probably not true because I've recently run into the problem where uh, some of the apps that I know for a fact I purchased I've gone all the way to the bottom of this list without ever seeing it once. I've done that multiple times. And then that got me thinking, well, what happened to the paid apps section? You know, I can't actually scroll over and see the paid apps that I've purchased through the Play Store. So obviously that's something that's missing from this current version. And um, the uh, Android dev known as Madako or Paul O'Brien, uh, he's an all around Android hacker, uh, has provided a legacy Play Store which I will show you here in one moment. You um, have to install it on the root apps. Um, so you would need something like Root Explorer that I've got here. Navigate to um, System. Actually, I'm in my SD card, so make sure you're in Root. Here you go. Go into System, and then Apps, or App. And here is where you would need to install it. So you would need to be rooted and you would need to have some sort of file manager that would let you mount write and rewrite um, options. And so once you install it into there, you would go ahead and go through the motion of actually installing it on your device. And from there on, it would work perfectly. Let me show you what the legacy store looks like. It is this great, uh, actually a sepia uh, looking pl uh, Play Store icon here. You would open it up, sign in, do the same thing that you would with your normal Play Store, um, except for you would want to go into settings and then unclick notifications, unclick auto updates, um, and that I believe is it because you don't want if if one of your apps is up for an update, it's going to you know um, tell you on both of these, and if you download it, it's going to download twice. Um, so you don't want to do any of that. So just to not have to mess with any of that, uncheck the auto update function in the legacy Play Store. And as you can see, I've got the regular Play Store here. I'm just going to move it over so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring the legacy one right next to it. With the legacy one, if I go to uh, go in, inside of it, I'm going to go into menu, my apps, and all of a sudden you're presented with the applications that are not installed so these are your paid applications that you've purchased and don't currently have on your device and then you start seeing the installed ones that are currently on your device whereas just to give you a quick comparison the regular Play Store does no such thing so that's pretty annoying but I'm glad somebody out there has found the uh, you know a way to hack around it and to be presented with um, you know, two Play Stores to be able to see what you've purchased in the past. I ran into this while trying to download um, one of my keyboards that I downloaded, I think back when I had my HTC Hero, so what, two, three years ago maybe? Um, it was highly annoying that I couldn't remember the name of it, so I couldn't search for it in the Play Store. And when I type in keyboard, tons of results would pour in and I got tired of just flicking my finger up. Well, there's an answer. It's called the Play Legacy Store. Madako has, uh, has hacked it and allowed you to install it alongside the regular Play Store. You can log in with your normal credentials, just uncheck the auto update and you should be good to go. Thanks guys, this is Christian from AndroidUnite.com. Make sure to like the video. We've got plenty of videos for the Galaxy S3, our new toy here. Uh, as well as other uh, awesome uh, how-to videos. And you can also visit us on our website, www.androidunite.com. Follow us on Twitter as well, at Droid Unite. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.